Hello and welcome everyone to Science Era. Today's topic is defining and collecting data. So I will be teaching you this topic from Business Statistics by David M. Levine, seventh edition. It is uh, the today's video is very useful for UNISA students who's doing STA 1510 modules. So looking at the objectives for today's topic, we will understand the issues arises when defining variable. We'll know how to define the variable, how to collect data, identify different ways to collect a sample and understand, understand the types of survey error. So before looking deep into the topic, we need to understand what is the difference between population and sample. Population consists of all the items or individuals about which you want to reach conclusion. When you analyze population, you compute parameters. Sample is a portion of a population selected for analysis. When you analyze data from sample, you compute statistics. Here it says collecting data via sampling is used. When selecting a sample, we need to understand three things. Why are we selecting sample? We select sample because it is less time consuming. It is less costly. And last, it is less cumbersome and more practical than analyzing the entire population. What is data and its types? Data can be defined as a set of individual values associated with variables. So we have two types of data, either it's structured data or unstructured data. Here you can see, uh, structured data versus unstructured data table, right? So first we need to understand what is structured data. Structured data can be displayed in rows, spreadsheet or relational database, while unstructured data cannot be displayed in rows, spreadsheet or relational database. Structured data is highly organized. Because it is organized, it is easy to analyze. On the other hand, Unstructured data is not organized and it is very hard to collect and analyze. Some examples of structured data include customer's phone number, names and zip codes. Unstructured data examples are emails, video files, images or data from social media. Moving on further, defining variable. What do you think is a variable? Variables can be numbers or values. A variable is a characteristics of an item or an individual. We can divide in a variable into two categories, either qualitative or quantitative. Qualitative, another name for qualitative variable is called categorical. In categorical variable, order does matter. It can be ordinal or nominal. Quantitative variables are all numbers in range possible. Quantitative variable can be continuous or discrete. Discrete variable arise from counting and continuous variables arise from measuring process. Okay, what is qualitative variable? A values or observation that can be sorted into groups or categories are qualitative. Another name for qualitative variable uh, is categorical variable. This can form yes or no questions. For example, you, um, if I ask you, do you have a YouTube channel or do you have a cell phone? You can either say yes or you can either say no. So this yes and no can form the variables two categories. Quantitative variable. Quantitative variable are also known as numerical variable. They can either be discrete or continuous. Discrete, uh, discrete, as I said before, arises from the counting process. For example, number of items purchased or the total amount paid. While continuous variable arises uh, from the measuring process and it depends on the precision of the instrument which you measure from. For example, distance from home to store or the time spent on checkout line length of an arm, your weight, your height, all are the continuous variable. Here I got some examples. Let's look at the first one. 
Do you have a Facebook profile? Your response can be either yes or no. Because your response uh, can be divided into two categories, it is a categorical or qualitative variable. Next question we have, how many text messages have you se sent in the past three days? You cannot uh, uh, categorize this. You cannot categorize the number of text message you sent. So this is numerical discrete. Why discrete? Because it arises from counting. Last question, how long did the mobile app update take to download? So here we need to understand uh, the time, how long they are asking uh, for the mobile app, uh, mobile app update take to download. So this is numerical continuous variable. Sources of data. Data we can collect from two types of sources, either primary source or secondary source. In primary source, the data collector is one using the data for analysis. For example, a political survey or you can collect data from an experiment or observe data. In secondary source, person performing data analysis is not a data collector. Uh, meaning that you can uh, collect data from census, analyzing census, by examining data from print journal or data published on the internet. In other words, uh, you can. Um, so, in other words, that you uh, secondary sources, you can collect data from the um, uh, data given by organization or the analyzing census. Here, I have five different methods. Uh, by uh, by using these you can collect data for example a data collecting can take place by data distributed by organization or individual the outcome of designed experiment like you designed the experiment you perform the experiment and the, all the results are the are your data to analyze responses from survey the result of conducting an observational study data collected by ongoing activities now we look at the some examinable questions. So first question here says, which of the following statement about variable type is incorrect? Uh, number one, whether or not you own a Panasonic television set is a qualitative variable. What do you think? It, is it a qualitative variable? Yes, it is because Qualitative, another word for qualitative is categorical. You can either say yes or no. These are the two categories. So this statement is correct. Uh, let's look at the next one. Your statement, uh, your status as either a full-time or part-time student is quantitative variable. Quantitative arises from either counting or measuring process. But this statement can divide into categories you can either be full-time or you can either be part-time student so this is wrong uh, third statement says this number of people you know who attend the graduation last year is a quantitative variable discrete variable this is right why because discrete variable arises from counting you can count number of people who attended the ceremony Fourth statement says the price of your most recent haircut is a quantitative discrete variable. It is discrete variable because you can count how much money you spent. Cyril's travel time from his home to the examination center is a quantitative continuous variable. This is right because he is traveling. So we are looking at the time. We can measure time. How long did he take to travel? So this is continuous. This is right. So the question states which of the following statement about the variable type is incorrect. So the correct answer is number 2. This is not a quantitative but a qualitative variable. This should be qualitative. Uh, 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्वान्टिटेटिव वेरिएबल इज नॉट कॉन्टीन्यूअस सो यू नो क्वान्टिटेटिव वेरिएबल हैव टू फर्दर टाइप्स आई द कॉन्टीन्यूअस विच अराइज फ्रॉम मेजरिंग प्रोसेस और डिस्क्रीट विच अराइज फ्रॉम काउंटिंग प्रोसेस सो हियर इट सेज योर वेट सर्कम्फ्रेंस ऑफ योर हेड द टाइम इट टेक्स योर ओम टू वॉक फ्रॉम हिज होम टू द टैक्सी पिकअप पॉइंट लेंथ ऑफ योर आर्म you can measure your weight so this is wrong you can measure the circumference of your head in centimeters wrong time you can measure time how long did it take length of your arm you can measure length of your arm so it says which one of it is a discrete variable which variable arises from counting so number of coins in your pocket this statement you cannot measure number of coins but you can count number of coins so this is the correct answer number 3 four different beverages are sold at a fast food restaurant soft drink tea coffee bottled water explain why the type of beverage sold is an example of categorical variable so they gave us four options here it is a categorical variable because values of variable represent quantities they don't give you quantities so no values of variable arise from measuring process you cannot measure the different types of cold drinks or beverages uh because the value of variable arises from counting process yes you can count four different type and the value of variable can only be placed into categories so the correct option is they arises from the counting process number 3 is the correct option this is why uh, they are the categorical variable question number 5 this one is uh, different from the other three questions we did so it says suppose you have data set about whether a citizen of a country is satisfied with performance of an elected which of the source of data best describe the data set is the data set based on a sample or a population okay so before answering this question we first need to understand something a first option says data distributed by organization or individual data sets that cover large spatial areas and or uh, have long time period are usually distributed by organization second option is outcomes of designed experiment in a designed experiment the researcher subjects different group to different condition and observes the result third option is survey in a survey people are asked question about their beliefs attitudes or behavior and other characteristics right for they give you the result of conducting an observational study In an observational study the researcher collect data by directly observing a behavior usually in a natural or neutral setting uh the last option they gave you data collected by ongoing activities data collected by ongoing act, uh, business activities can be collected from operational or transactional system that exist in both physical and online setting but can also be gathered from secondary sources such as third party social media network and online apps and website service that collect tracking and uses data so what do you think is the correct option here the correct option will be results of conducting an observational study uh next part of the same question is the data set based on a sample or a population it is based on a sample 
because we can collect number of people and then ask them or observe their behavior uh, towards the performance of us uh, elected in the country next question number five suppose you read a website that says that 54 percent of people don't think there's a difference between two competing products on what type of data source is the claim in this story based they gave you the same options again data distributed by organization outcome of design experiment surveys observational studies or ongoing activities a website states that there is 54% of people who don't think there is a difference between two competing products. So this is the data distributed by organization. Uh, thank you so much. If you uh, want my PDF notes, please contact me on the given number. Um, uh, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Do subscribe, like and share. I will be covering with you other modules uh, from UNISAS too, including uh, STATS 1501 module, chemistry modules, bio modules. Um, uh, if you want me to cover any other modules related to UNISA, do leave a comment. Uh, thank you so much.